Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And today we're gonna to be showing you guys the absolute best-selling Walmart gaming setup. We like to take a look at some of the best-selling products from a wide range of different retailers. And today is Walmart with this monitor, keyboard, mouse, mouse pad, and also today's video sponsor, Insta360. This right here is a product that can take your best-selling Walmart gaming setup to the absolute next level. This is the Insta360 link we'll be testing here in a moment. It has a lot of cool AI features, a lot of tracking and things like that that we're really excited to show you guys. But what we're gonna go and do is tell you guys real quick how these setups work and then dive into the testing. So usually in our full setups we include the PC and then everything else you need but this time we're just going to focus on what you can readily get from Walmart by walking in there. Of course you could buy a gaming PC from there but we always recommend building your own so we're going to talk about the keyboard, the mouse pad, the actual mouse, the monitor and then of course the webcam which you know we really think completes the whole entire setup and will bring your streaming game to the next level. So let's go ahead and take a deep dive into this Insta360 and all that it has to offer. So as you can see right now, we are using the Insta360 Link, which is a very cool webcam because it has a lot of features under the hood. Right now we are recording at 4K, which is more than most webcams can say. I mean, 4K is really sharp looking and in any environment really, it's gonna turn out really nice, especially for live streamers or any other content creator. But this webcam has a lot of other things under the hood, which we're gonna be showing you. Now, one of the coolest features about this webcam is it can track you. Now, what we're gonna use is some of the AI hand gestures, which, if you put your hand up like this, engages auto tracking. Wow, just zoomed in right on me. So you know what, I'm gonna move over here. You know, I'm talking about something. I'm just gonna move right over here next to Jackson. There he is. And then we're gonna move all the way over here. And look at that, this thing follows me and keeps me in frame. Now if we go back in the center and use the same uh, hand gesture, Boom, it'll lock, it'll lock and then I can just be like, you know what, I'm walking out here. But it's really cool that using these hand gestures, you can do a lot of different things. For example, you can use zoom by holding up this L, you know, <laughs> hold that L. Take that L. And then we're going to go down and look, I'm zoomed out. Now I want to zoom back, back in. Frame. Look, there he He's is. Leaving nope, me again. I don't want him there anymore. <laughs> you have the ability to control it without going into software at all. You can be gaming and fragging out in your games, and you're like, you know what, I need to adjust my zoom real quick. Boom, you can do that with that hand gesture. And as you can see on screen right now, our video editor McAllister had a ton of fun with this thing. He was able to use their whiteboard feature, which where you take these little stickers that come with the camera and attach it to, let's say, a whiteboard. And once you end up doing this, which right now it's not gonna work for you, but McAllister's gonna show you how it works. It'll auto track and find that whiteboard and zoom in on it. It's really cool if you're doing like a teaching presentation or something like that. Um, this is a very versatile webcam for stuff like that, especially live streaming and teaching. We found that to be very cool. You can have different focus points. You can have the head, which right here, it's focused on my head. You can have half body, which, you know, it's my torso right here. It'll follow me around like so and get Jackson back in frame. Or whole body, which doesn't really work very well in this scenario, but if you were doing a presentation, you're, let's say, standing at a whiteboard and you had the whole thing here, you know, it can follow my whole body. Look at that. Ooh. It's going all over the place. Ooh, we don't even have enough room to really utilize yeah, this. Yeah, we don't thing. even have enough room to utilize this whole thing, but it's really cool that the tracking ability allows us to do a lot of cool stuff. You can be very creative with this webcam. Now, another cool feature that you gamers out there might want to, well, use is the desk view mode, which allows you to switch between that camera to this. Wow, it's crazy. We have an overhead camera that we can show off these on peripherals. Well, the on keyboard and this interesting brand mouse we'll talk about here later. You can easily switch between an overhead setup like this and go back to your main camera. And guess what? It's still tracking me. It's really cool that all this stuff is very easy to do on the fly. There's a lot of keyboard shortcuts you can do as well to make this even more user friendly. So another cool feature this webcam offers. They do have an included streamer mode to give you a much smoother experience when you're getting into live streaming. But yeah, that is the Insta360 link. A lot of cool features. And if you're looking to take your streaming game to the next level, you should definitely check that link down below. What we're gonna go ahead and do is talk about the rest of the setup, the best selling stuff from Walmart and uh, decide whether or not it's actually worth it. All right guys, so here is our PC that is our test bench. So like I said, this isn't super important because there's not really a budget on this PC, but we're just gonna tell you the specs anyways in case you're curious. This is the Ryzen 7 5700X, which is an eight core 16 thread underneath of this deep cool 240 mil liquid cooler. We have a one terabyte NVMe from Team Group. We have a B550 Asus Tough Board. We have 16 gigs of PNY Accelerate RAM that is 3600 megahertz. This graphics right here is not branded because well, it's another one of those, you know, special AMD RX 580 with the 2048 stream processors. And then we have an XPG 650 watt power supply and this is a deep cool case that is very nice, very high airflow. So we make sure we do not have any overheating to properly run these setup. Yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about this stuff because it is the best selling products that you can buy on walmart.com right now. Some of them are 
are kind of obvious, like the on monitor, but oh, some yeah. of the other ones are a little bit interesting. Now let's start with the monitor. This is the on 24 inch 1080p 165 hertz gaming monitor that we did pay $129 for. It does come in with a four star average with 176 reviews, but this thing I believe is gonna have a lot more, well, people buying it than reviews show because it is a popular monitor in store at Walmarts. They sell this thing like crazy, there's a lot of them in there. If you go into a Walmart or any Walmart that has PC hardware, this thing is sitting right there with all the gaming PCs and a lot of people probably buy them and don't post reviews. But this thing right here is a monitor we have tested before and it's good. Um, it is one of those cheaper high refresh rate monitors though. And what I mean by that is the ghosting is there. It's definitely not the most pretty panel in the world, but you are getting into high refresh rate for only $120. And I think that's a pretty good bargain. As long as this one showed up in good shape, which we will test here momentarily, I think we'll be really happy with this purchase. And I'm wondering why exactly it got a four star and not a five star. All right, let's talk about the gaming keyboard. Once again, we have good old On, which if I didn't make it clear, On is a Walmart brand. This right here is a full-size blue switch mechanical keyboard with 255 reviews, $46 price point, and a 4.5 star average. It has true RGB. I really think with these cheap mechanical keyboards, if it has true RGB, I think you've got a winner here. Um, it is a blue switch keyboard. Jackson and I personally love red linear switches. The blue switches are Pretty sharp, pretty loud, but there are people getting into PC gaming that are like, whoa, compared to a membrane keyboard, this is absolutely awesome. And uh, yeah, the RGB is pretty nice. And I can see a lot of people picking this thing up as long as it works and it sounds decent. I know the stabilizers and everything are gonna be great. This isn't an enthusiast keyboard. This has been for, you know, your average Joe walking into Walmart being like, I want that and I want that. The grab whatever is affordable and also looks the most gamer. And I think this checks all those boxes. Now this right here is a very interesting mouse. This is the TSV Gaming Mouse, which we ended up paying $11.98 for 201 reviews and a 4.5 star average. Now we bought a cheap mouse because, well, a lot of people who are going to Walmart and wanting to buy stuff from Walmart are gonna be on a budget and wanna buy stuff on a budget. And this right here is no exception. Now, it is your standard optical sensor, which is found on all these cheap mice that you can buy nowadays, but I think it'll do just fine. But you do have to know this is a $10 mouse. The tracking isn't gonna be perfect. The RGB lighting is really not like real RGB. It's just kind of all over there lighting. Uh, but you do have a DPI switch and a scroll wheel with some RGB lighting and a braided cord. So that's a plus. But yeah, for a $12 mouse, basically $11.98. I'm not expecting much, but I think it'll get the job done. Just like this extended desk mat, which had 1,004 reviews, a 4.8 star average and was $9.99. It's cloth. It's great. It's better than your desk. And if you're wanting an extended desk mat, 10 bucks. I can't complain about this thing. I would say it's a little bit narrower than other desk mats that I like, but again, it's 10 bucks. You really can't complain too much about it. And that's why so many people have bought it and reviewed it. Now this is an interesting gaming headset. This is the Onikuma K10 gaming headset, stereo based around RGB noise canceling over the ear headphone mic for PS4, <laughs> Xbox One, PC, Nintendo Switch, tablet, and smartphone. That was a lot, but this thing was $24.99 which is a pretty decent value. 526 reviews and a 4.9 star average. I think it looks pretty solid. Um, I know in our initial testing, it doesn't sit very well on your head. It kind of just sits on your ear, so it's not the most comfortable. I'd imagine in very long gaming sessions, it would get quite uncomfortable, but it has RGB. But does RGB really matter in a headset if you're a content creator live streaming and uh, well, showing off some RGB on the side? Because you're really not gonna see it, but yeah, it's a decent headset. And we will do a mic test later on that'll let you all hear exactly what it sounds like. And if not, Callister's gonna do something freaky. He always does something freaky sometimes when we don't do what we're supposed to. So this is a quick mic test of the headset. You can hear what it sounds like. Hi, this is Matt from the Toasty Rose. Hello, gaming, hello. We're gonna put it real up close. We're gonna pull it far away. We're gonna, I don't know. We're just gonna see what this sounds like. Hopefully it sounds okay for a headset that's pretty highly rated. Would you be able to listen to this if your friend was using this on Discord? Let us know. But yeah, I'm excited to see how this headset holds up long-term in gaming. I'm excited to see how this whole setup holds up long-term in gaming. What we're gonna do is use the Insta360 to showcase what it would be like if you were streaming from a PC with this stuff using the Insta360. And also, we're just gonna show you guys some of the cool features that this PC has to offer and decide if this setup is worth it for the money. All right, guys, we're playing some Apex Legends, and we're on pretty much very high settings. Not that they really matter since we're not focused on the PC, but I got my FOV turned all the way up, and uh, what do I want to go with this time? 
So yeah, I'm trying out these uh, peripherals. The, the mouse has a little bit of lift off. Like I'm not touching the mouse pad right now and I can, oh my God, I have full movement. It's not amazing because that just kind of means that the tracking just doesn't really stop very well for the optical sensor. But I mean, I think I could live with that. Paying $11, you know, that's kind of what yeah. we expect with an $11 mouse. Honestly, you almost think it'd be worse. I just love that he's wingman and he's pretty confident. I just love that I'm still getting hit by that. Oh man. Ugh, really do I need to back oh. up and get some healing. Oh my God. As you can see right now, guys, we are using the Insta360 webcam for Jackson's face cam. Um, if you were doing like, let's say a product showing of a live stream, you know, you could be like, hey, look at this product and we'll track this product. But right now it's focused on Jackson's face while he's sweating really Is hard. just sitting in a corner? Oh, oh, oh the oh, guy came that back guy around. around. Oh, oh no. Oh my God. Oh, you've been got. Oh my God. <laughs> Gotta get one kill at least, right? Yeah. Oh no. Literally can't. Oh, hi, hello. Oh, oh. Oh, oh you. I a shotgun. <laughs> Track those feet. I can smell them. Oh, oh my God, why? I must kill both of them. I you didn't, didn't kill get either of them. I no. hate this game. No. <laughs> Dude, I, I, Dude, give me a 1v1. Oh, it's oh, three of them, three, three of them. them. No, <laughs> no freaking way, bro. Bing, bing. Oh, bing. hello, I, it's all. Just can't even get back there. All right, all right, quick rating of the peripherals. Out of five. I mean, keyboard good, mouse is, I, I'm, on, I'm not gonna lie, I've had worse. I, I was just complaining to complain. Headset. Comfy, okay, sound eh, quality. I mean, for like a kid, for a kid. It'd be good, but for like an adult, it like, it's so shallow and like you said, it just like, I don't know, it hurts. It sits on your ears. Yeah, and then I'm sure the mic's probably pretty bad. All right, let's go next. next game. All right guys, so we're ready to dive into Fortnite, but we're gonna use is this keyboard cam feature. As you can see right here, look at that. It just moved down and now it's looking at my keyboard. So uh, for you Fortnite gamers out there, you wanna show people going like, <laughs> you know, going crazy with your uh, keys, you can use that for this. Or if you're doing some sort of presentation in class or something and you wanna show that you're not cheating or doing anything crazy, well, you know what, you got that going for you as well. I don't know why you'd wanna buy a webcam just to prove that you're not cheating, but you know what, you get the point. All right, gamers, we're in Fortnite. Let's drop to faulty splits. We about to break some splits. But yeah, you can definitely tell with this monitor, you're getting a little bit of ghosting. I mean, cheaper VA panels like this, um, especially this on display is gonna have some ghosting. So kind of is what it is, but it's still very usable and it feels much smoother than a 60 Hertz display. I would definitely prefer this over just like a normal name brand 60 Hertz display that would probably cost the same amount of money. Um, it's good entry level high refresh rate. It definitely feels nice and smooth. This person's distracting me. Okay. I was, I was gonna say, I was gonna get killed by somebody else. Okay, let's push this person. I'm out of ammo. There's gonna be a lot of bots in here. All right, double duel. I feel like that was a bot. I feel like they put me back in bot lobbies, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain about that. Oh, money. 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 Wait, he just... That, that's a crazy strat that guy just tried to pull on you. I'll tell you what. It was a strat. Ah! The mouse! The oh! Mouse. The mouse! I feel like I had no room! All right. Metting up, baby. Found the loot here, brother. Oh. Oh, God. Is it time? Hammer time. <laughs> oh! What did I do? Surprise! They're trying to take your point. They're trying to take your point. Goodness gracious, that was so bad. All right, we're capping, boys. We are capping. Yeah, this keyboard feels like a blue stitch keyboard. And I mean, if, if this is like your first mechanical keyboard, I don't think you'll hate it. I think you'll actually really enjoy it compared to a membrane keyboard. But there's something about these that are just so tiresome compared to like a smooth linear switch where you're just kind of like barely pressing. I feel like you have to kind of work a little bit with a blue switch keyboard. Oh, no, bail. Oh, that was a real player. Ortiz hit me with the blop. <laughs> that didn't work out very well, but hey, you know what? This setup's fine. I mean, I understand why all this stuff is like the best selling stuff on walmart.com because, you know, it's a blue switch Mikael keyboard has RGE. Were these guys like teaming or is that his like AI buddy? What is this? I don't even understand. I don't understand Fortnite anymore, but uh, yeah, we have, well, everything working. I'd, I'd say keyboard, 
in my honest rating, I'd give it like a three star. The mouse, we're looking at a two star. It's usable, but I don't think it's even that much of an upgrade yeah. over like an office mouse. Let's be real here, you know, let's be real. Um, headset, three star, <laughs> three star. When I say three star, I'm saying, you know, like that's, it's just, it, it's mid range, you know, it is what it is. And then the monitor I'd say is about a four star, four and a half. I think it's very well rated. This guy's just running around Dude, being like, demon. I, I was watching his movement always, it's kind of crazy. It's got that insane movement. But yeah, overall, nothing extremely disappointing. The mouse is a little bit disappointing, but it's about what we expected from an $11 mouse. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done checking out all of these on-brand peripherals and also just a couple other random ones from Walmart. And overall, we can definitely approve them. We understand why they're the price that they are and why they have so many purchases. And honestly, when it comes to RGB and pricing, that's usually what sells. It's not really like high quality with this stuff because most people are just looking for like the cheapest RGB blue switch loud clicky keyboard and also the cheapest RGB mouse out there and you definitely get that with the setup. And I'm kind of curious, what do you guys think about this whole setup? Would you buy any of the stuff from this setup? Let us know down below. And if you're somebody looking to upgrade your content creation game, you should definitely check out this Insta360 Link webcam. It's, it's a lot of fun. This was a really fun product to mess around with. So definitely check the link down below once again. And also let me know what other best selling products you want to see here on the channel. Do you want to see some more keyboard roundups, some mice roundups, some monitor roundups? Let us know in the comment section down below. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye so now that we're done with this full setup, it will be going to PC Bros. We actually do have a brick and mortar store where you can come in, you can even meet us if you want to. And yeah, you can have your chance to buy some pretty cool stuff, or if you want to save a lot of money, you can buy some stuff like this too. PC Bros. Tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and gaming setups, just like this video. And if you use code Toasty Bros. on checkout, you'll save 2% of your next purchase. Also, buy some merch. I'm making mm -hmm. sure you guys buy some merch. Mm -hmm. PC Bros. Tech. see you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.